Ladies, welcome to your first self isolation social distancing home learning video. Now, in these videos, I'm primarily going to be going through the maths work that we've set you and showing you how to do the problems. But if there is anything else that you'd like me to go through, then get in touch via the email address on the website. That's the year five email address. And I also thought it would be really nice to share some of your stories that we've set you. I know that you're going to be writing stories about orangutans. So if you would like me to share them on these videos, then again, send it to the email address. Or even if you'd just like some feedback, but not necessarily to share them, then um, anything you need, like I said, just email that email address, the year five um, email address. It's on the Swingate website. And all year five teachers will be checking that daily Monday to Friday between the hours of 9 and 3 p.m. okay on with the maths so I would just like to firstly point out that I'm not a camera expert I'm afraid so it does go a little bit in and out of focus so sorry about that and um, I need to also remember to tie my hair back going forwards because my hair did get a little bit in the way for some of the questions so again I apologize for that but I'll make sure that it's tied back for the videos going forward Okay, so the first one is nice and easy because as we know, anything multiplied by zero is zero. Number two, we can do as column addition. So we've got 467 add 234. We know that four, well seven add four is 11. Six add three is nine, add one is 10. And 4 add 2 is 6, add 1 is 7, so the answer is 701. Number 3, again, is fairly easy because our denominators are the same. So it's effectively 13 take away 5 because we don't take away the denominators. So 13 ninths take away 5 ninths and we are left with 8 ninths. Moving on to some of our reasoning questions now. So it might help you with this one if you draw a number line. So we draw our number line. We've got zero here. We know that positive 10 is the biggest and minus 11, negative 11 is the smallest. So then we need to fit negative three, four, positive four, and negative 5 in there. So if this is the lowest number, then in this box we know it's negative 11, and this is the highest number, this is positive 10. So going down, if we've got negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, I've drawn it too small, um, but what we do know is that we've got 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, so negative 5, as you can see on the number line, is lower than negative 3. So that will be the next one. So we can cross that one out. We'll cross those ones out as well. Then we've got negative 3. Then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, I've drawn it too short, but that is 4 in there. So you should have gone negative 11, negative 5, negative 3, 4 and 10. The next one, rounding these numbers to the nearest whole number. So the first one has been done for you. 7.02 to the nearest whole number is 7. Now 3.54. Well we know that this number sits between 3 and 4. So if we're rounding down we're going to 3. If we're rounding up we're going to 4. We need to look at the number one place to the right of the decimal point, which is in our tenths column, and that is a 5. And the rule we know with rounding is that if it's 5 or above, we round up, so we will round up to 4. The next one, 6.45. Again, that number sits between 6 and 7. If we're rounding down, we're going to 6. If we're rounding up, we're going to 7. 6.45, we look at again that number in the tenths column, it's a 4, so we know that we are rounding down to 6. Okay, now looking at Mia's journey, so it says Mia can catch different buses to get to school. The table shows Mia's journey for times from leaving home to arriving at school for each bus. How long is Mia's journey if she catches the number 53 bus? So we need to look at the number 53 bus, which is this 
column here. She leaves home at 7.55 and she arrives at school at 8.30. So we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour and we know that she leaves the house at 7.55. So 7.55 to 8 o'clock would be five minutes. Then eight o'clock to 8.30 would be 30 minutes. Then we need to add five and 30, which is 35 minutes. We don't need to look at any of these other uh, any of these other rows on the table because we know that she catches the number 53 bus. Okay, looking at number four. So we, the number we want to get to is 180. So it would be easier to think of how we can get to 18 as we know that 18 is in our times tables. So we know that the factors of 18 are 1, 18, so that's a factor pair of 18. Another factor pair is 3 and 6, and the other one is 9 and 2. However, we want 180, so one of these needs to be multiplied by 10. So there were several different combinations you could have had for this question, and I'll write them all down here. So you could have had 1 times 180, you could have had 10 times 18, you could have had 3 times 60, you could have had 30 times 6, you could have had 90 times 2, or you could have had 9 times 20. So those are all of the combinations that you could have had to get to 180. And the last question for Monday, it's a word problem. So we know that Miss Smith had 150, 150 reward stickers at the start of the year. She gave eight children seven stickers each. She gave 12 children six stickers each and it's asking you how many stickers are left. So this one's a multi-step problem. So we first need to start off by finding out how many stickers were given out in this first statement. Now if we were to draw our children down here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And each of those children had seven stickers. So each of these children were given seven stickers. So as you can see, we need to work out how many stickers were given all together to this first statement of children. And to do that, we do seven times eight, which equals 56. So this statement of children got 56 stickers. Then she gave 12 children six stickers each. So if we do for this one, if we're doing eight times seven, then we know that for this one we're doing 12 times six. So 12 times six equals 72. So this statement of children got 72 stickers each. Now we need to find out how many children she gave stickers to in total. So I'll do that in the box here because total means that you add these two numbers together. So 56 add 72, 6 add 2 is 8, 5 add 7 is 12. So she gave out 128 stickers. Then the question is how many stickers are left? She started 
with 150 stickers. She's given out 128 stickers. So to find out how many are left, we need to do 150, take away 128. We can't do zero, take away eight, so we need to exchange. That becomes a four, not a three. So 10, take away eight is two. Four take away two is two, and one take away one is zero. So she's left with 22 stickers. So that was how to do Monday's maths problems. I plan on doing these videos daily, at least for now. So hopefully they'll be uploaded the day after you would have done the work. So if there was anything you were unsure about or needed an explanation on, then hopefully I'll be able to have provided that for you. Once again, if there is anything you're not sure about or need help with, then do get in touch with us via the year five email address on the school website. I hope this video has been helpful and I shall see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye.